feel pressure is not necessarily a bad thing. Um, I guess it depends on how you use it and what you do with it. I guess there's a lot of uh, different kinds of pressure that you have to deal with being an athlete. Of course, I mean, there's different kinds of athletes and some athletes, they really they feed off the pressure. They, they would just perform really well just on the dot when they have to do it. And some people, they just can't deal with it. But I think it's um, a way of, uh, it's the way of dealing with it, like um, really taking it in and trying to put that pressure into a challenge. Because I guess that's what most of the athletes or probably all of the good athletes, what they do is they want to have like, a, like really big uh, challenges that they can succeed in. So the harder the course is or the bigger the competition is, they would feel more motivated to give their best. And uh, of course I feel pressure. I guess when I feel pressure it's uh, when I have to do well at a race, say it's for Olympic selections or for national team selections. Going to world championships or European championships, it would be racing a final, uh, trying to win medals. But um, I usually don't feel any physical pressure. But I think um, you start feeling um, these symptoms in your body when you can't deal with the pressure, when you don't know what to do with it. And I used to be like that. I used to feel sick before a race. I wouldn't be able to have breakfast in the morning when I was a junior racing. Um, but that, I learned that through, through the years of racing, how to use the pressure and turn it into something good and not letting it uh, put me down. Well, I'm not going to tell you all of my secrets, but <laughs> um, I have like a, let's say like a happy place I go to in my head and um, that really calms me down. It only takes a few um, couple of breaths and then I'm there and that sort of helps me getting into the zone where I can uh, visualize my run before the race. And I think that's part of um, what makes it easier to deal with the pressure in the race. Because what makes you feel, you know, uh, nauseous or sick before a race because you feel the pressure is the unknown. It's being scared of what happens, what can happen. And um, the more you visualize your, your race or your run before, the more often you have been there before, so it's not um, something that's uncertain. It, it becomes more certain. From my point of view, it's, uh, it's important to feel pressure. It's good to have it there, and I think if you don't feel the pressure anymore, then the racing will be pointless a little bit. It's, it takes the adrenaline out of the racing if there is no pressure. And um, I think the most important thing is to um, start feeling it and then dealing with it and knowing it's there and then turning it into something good that you can um, feed off and you know get better with. Mm -hmm.